Gamergate 2 is well underway, and while we as consumers are constantly getting attacked for simply wanting developers to go through with their creative vision and make good products, we see a lot of developers bending the knee to pointless outrage, and now a new game called Farm Folks has apologized for asking players for feedback on its female character physics. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube membership. So this is a That Park Place article. It says, Farm Folks, a third-person life simulator sandbox box multiplayer game with an open world experience apologized for asking its players for feedback regarding physics for its female characters first of all i am getting sick and tired of a game being described with almost all of the possible descriptors they could use okay I think developers need to pick two or three tags and go for it, but this is a lot. It says, though, on April 27th, Farm Folks posted on X, All right, folks, it's time for some serious game development talk. We're tinkering with character physics and Farm Folks. Burning question, which version has the perfect breast jiggle physics? I personally uh, think that this is not only hilarious, but also very well placed marketing because there's a lot of talk about jiggle physics and about character physics with stellar blade right now and over the past couple of weeks there's been a lot of different hashtags uh you know, going viral on Twitter slash X in regards to things like jiggle physics. And I think that they were trying to capitalize on that while also getting what they were hoping was genuine feedback from their player base. Because of course, this is a game that was kickstarted. So there is a lot of people out there who really do want to be able to give their feedback and have it taken into consideration. And of course, in my opinion, I think that this is a very harmless post. I don't see anything wrong with them asking a question to their community, but there were some people who actually did get very offended over this. As you can see, the posts received backlash from a number of individuals, including the consultancy group Black Girl Gamers, a group of individuals who will whine and complain about literally anything. They said, this ain't it. As you can imagine, boobs are sensitive subjects, especially since women have been subject to a lot of vitriol in gaming lately. In the latest discourse regarding sexualization of characters, as a woman myself, I would rather have female characters have jiggle physics than not because breasts jiggle okay i know that they say it's a sensitive topic to me it's not to me breasts are an important topic that should be talked about rather than not talked about and ignored i don't know why they would word it like this that like talking about breasts are so offensive they jiggle in real life news flash i think it's hilarious how individuals who run groups like black girl gamers constantly say that you know oh you're all incels who have never touched a woman but they don't even know how women's anatomy works they also said, additionally, if your bio disclosed that the game is meant to be an adult farming simulator, that might curb people's reactions to this post a little bit. Clearly, they did absolutely no research into this game, because while it does not currently have an ESRB rating, it will most likely receive a T14 because it's got guns and PvP. So why are we attacking a game that's not a children's game over them asking about jiggle physics? It's not going to be a E for everyone. It is more a akin to something like Fortnite. It's very stylistic like Fortnite. There are stylized guns like Fortnite. There is going to be PvP, meaning there is almost no possible way that this is going to get an E for everyone. And they might have had a leg to stand on if it was an E for everyone game and they're asking about jiggle physics, but it most likely won't be. And of course, this all comes across as really pathetic because now we have a situation where not only do people start defending them, 
them against, you know, narrative consultation companies like Black Girl Gamers and their absolute insane followers, but the company behind Farm Folks decided to apologize. They did not stand their ground and defend their product. They said, hey folks, we like to address a recent post where we came to our community asking for feedback. Our intent is always to connect and grow with our players, but it's clear that we really missed the mark on our recent community feedback posts, and for that we sincerely apologize. But they actually also decided to lock down the post so that only people uh, that they follow or they mention can reply. Now this of course was after they were already getting ratioed, but it never really comes across very well when companies apologize and they don't want people to further continue to discuss the situation. Um, and of course this is just a really, really bad situation overall because basically they are apologizing to people who wouldn't play it anyway. The people at Black Girl Gamers are now going to boycott the game themselves because they dare to even ask about the jiggle physics to the community. So this apology doesn't mean anything to the people that they had to apologize for a apparently offending because normal people were not offended by them simply asking the community for feedback. It is always fantastic when companies ask their communities for feedback, especially again, a game like this that was kickstarted. So the only reason it exists in the first place is because people monetarily supported them and supported their vision for this game. And honestly, after watching, you know, some of the videos that they've released and seen some of the screenshots, it didn't look half bad, but now there are going to be a ton of people who are going to refuse to support it because they have apologized and again, apologize to people who were never even going to play their game in the first place. Like I mentioned though, even though they've locked down the replies, there are still quite a lot here and people are roasting them, saying things like, Damn fam, never apologize for the memes and good times, still looking forward to checking out the game though. Be glad your post did attract new eyes. And it is it is true, it did attract a lot of attention over a very short amount of time. And I'm sure that they are going to gain some sales from this situation. People who want to go against Black Girl Gamers and prove that this game, you know, is a good one. Who who knows, but at the same time, there are still people who are like, ah, you bent the knee, I'm not going to support you now. Uh, so let me see if I understand this here. You made a sincere community a po post. A gaggle of toxic non-customers were incredibly rude to you by intentionally misinterpreting your words in the least charitable way possible, and so you're apologizing to them? Do I have that about right? It is unfortunate that there are so many companies who will apologize to people who attack them and are rude to them and honestly try to bury their products simply because it doesn't align with what they believe a game should be like. Um, of course, I'm sure that there are going to be other posts in the future that uh, appear where people are questioning this game and of course the people behind it saying do they really deserve our support? But the general consensus is they shouldn't have bent the knee, they shouldn't have released this apology, and there are plenty of people saying if they deleted the apology, they would be happy to support the game. But this post is still up, and of course, now that we have a narrative consultation company like Black Girl Gamers going after this, this group, uh, there are a lot of people who are absolutely roasting them, saying that these people that work at Black Girl Gamers who claim to care about the gaming industry do not at all whatsoever. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.